All right, welcome back to Central Valley Buzz. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard. Let's bring in our next guest, sponsor of the Buzz, Hair Abduction. Hello, Hello. Christine. How are you doing? I'm great. Nice to see you. Now, uh, Hair Abduction, you guys are getting ready to get busy because yes. it's Valentine's Day coming up. Yes. Does, 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 is that a busy time of the year for you? It really is, yeah. Christine. For the men and the women? Yes, definitely, because the men, of course, want to look groomed up for their, their beautiful ladies, and, of course, the ladies definitely want to get their hair done and look sharp for that special day. What, what, what type of things can, can a man get done at the hair abduction? Um, we, we do, actually, we do all kinds of stuff for men, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, we, we have facials, which men, yes, definitely men groom themselves a lot more. We do waxing. Uh -huh. um, we also do a what, couple... What are you, waxing on men? Yeah. Where? Eyebrows. Oh, okay. I don't let anybody touch my eyebrows. No way. <laughs> well, of course, you know, we're not going to make you look feminine. Yeah. But, do you, you know. Do the, you don't do the threading, do you? No. Good. No, we just do regular <laughs> But we also do uh, a couple different type of services for hair color. We can do um, gray blending, which makes it look kind of softer for guys. Well, wait a minute. So, so it would look more like mine. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just a little blend yes. of gray put, put in there. Yeah, because you don't want to look like you just went to the store and bought a black, you know, hair dye. Because you see that out. You can pick <laughs> yeah. those people out real, really easily, yeah, right? Yeah. Bless their hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and women, you know, they notice those things. They notice a lot more than you guys think. <laughs> oh, I know we just you don't do. Say. I hear it all the time. <laughs> now, have you probably manicures for men, things like that, um, too? We actually don't have a manicurist right now, but we are looking for Ooh, one. Oh, any manicurists so. out there looking? This is a nice place to work. It really is, yeah. We have, um, we both, there's two of us that are educators for Joyco, mm -hmm. so, you know, we bring in all the latest information and all the latest techniques and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, women, you do, you do everything. Um, we the same thing. We do waxing and facials, and we do hair color. We do cutting, um, highlighting, and we also do uh, hair extensions. And I brought a couple. Ooh, just to hair extensions! Show. I want a ponytail. <laughs> Let me so here's one that I actually colored, and that is actually called an ombre technique. That's a clip-in hair extension. Right. And then here is one that I braided. So this would be good to just pop in someone's hair. Like say, for example, they don't have very much hair. It's very fine. So here's one that you can just pop in. You just pop it in. The... <laughs> You're just looking at that like, what in the head? Well, no, I just, I, see, I know how this works. <laughs> it's, 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 it would go in the back like this. Yeah, and, or and in the I'd center. Like, I'm in a band. There you go. <laughs> I'm in a band. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> and, 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 are hair extensions popular right now? Hair extensions are very popular. We have the clip in, and then also we do uh, one that's called an, it's an adhesive. And oh my gosh, those are amazing. I just did one on Saturday. I know of those. Yes. I know of those. And in the Bay Area, they're really, really popular right, right now. Right, right. And I, actually, I love it because when you lay down at night to sleep, and I know you probably don't think about this kind of stuff, but for women, um, they lay back. And if you have extensions, you can feel it when you lay down. These lay Poking you in the head? Yes. Yeah. And it's very uncomfortable. These lay flat on your head so you don't feel any kind of like lumps or bumps or anything like that. It's very comfortable, very easy to put up in a ponytail so it's really cool and it's a great way to thicken the hair it doesn't have to you know be like you're Rapunzel. not wearing them right now are you nope this is all me baby <laughs> what, 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 the, the, the color in your hair what kind of color are you use over there um, we actually use many different types of, of color, but what we do is we try to concentrate on keeping the hair healthy. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that happens is the hair becomes damaged and things like that, and so um, we use very good products to condition the hair and keep it reconstructed. So this is actually a semi-permanent color, which we have many different shades. So even for Valentine's Day, you could do something like a How pop How long does a semi-permanent color last? It depends on the porosity of the hair. If the hair is really porous, of course, it's going to come out quicker. Um, but you have products to close that down, right? Oh, definitely. See? Yeah, right. we lock the, lock the color in with a, a special products that we carry at our salon. Um, and then we also reconstruct the hair as well. That also fills in the cuticle, and uh, it also gives longevity to the color. And then, of course, nowadays, we also have colored, sh colored shampoo. Yeah. So that's very cool, too, because that also gives even a longer amount of color lasting. Are people getting perms anymore? 
Actually, they're, they're not perms necessarily. They're more texture, so they're getting more body in their hair. Kind of almost like what I have here, and it's um, a, done with like a larger rod, so it's not so. But yeah, I do have a few clients that still get the tighter perm, but their hair is also short, so it looks smoother. You know, my whole family had a perm in the 70s. We were like the Brady's. <laughs> oh, every, every single one of us had a perm. It was a vegetable perm. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I think my whole, like, even my aunts and uncles had it. It was really creepy. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's so come a long way since then. <laughs> now, uh, Valentine's is coming up. You got, you, throw, you throw any specials out there? We do. We have uh, four different specials that we're doing. Right now, blowouts are really popular. And so what we've done is we've paired up the blowouts with conditioning treatments. So we have uh, the basic blowout with uh, basic makeup. That's the first special. And then the other three specials that we have is we paired them up with three different types of conditioner treatment, which um, is going to add shine to the hair. So, of course, that's going to make the blowout look even better when you're out there with your date. Um, so the first one is the fortifying treatment. And I actually brought the samples today just so you guys can see. And if you want to smell them, you can. I do. I, mean, I always want to smell them. That's how I am. I love to smell the products. And if it doesn't smell good, then I don't want it. But all of our products do have a really nice fragrance to them. Natural. That's the fortifying treatment that you're holding there. And, and this is going to fortify what? That one is going to add moisture to the hair. It's, for, it's more for a hair that's uh, drier. And then if you need more conditioning, we also have the moisture recovery. And this is actually uh, made with uh, sea kelp is one of the main conditioners in it. Nice. And it has a low pH, so it has the ability to lock moisture into the hair. And then, of course, if you really need extra shine and extra reconstruction, we have our uh, trusty the K-Pack uh, -Pack reconstructor, which that one, kind of, to me, it always smells Best like... Best on the market. It smells like... And it has been in a, for a very long time. Uh, and I'll tell you something about the Joico products that I know is that I have fine hair. And if I use uh, a conditioner of most brands, it'll weigh it down and I won't be able to do nothing with it. And it'll make me mad. But uh, <laughs> th th this one, no. Uh, it, no, it, and what I always tell people at home when they purchase these, if they feel like it might do that, and this pretty much goes along with any uh, moisturizing conditioner, just rinse longer. Ah. Rinse longer, it's that easy. And use less. You don't need more than a pea size usually. The other part is um, your scalp naturally makes makes conditioner. That's what I call it. It's it's called sebum, but it's sebum. Sebum, yeah. yeah. But um, but our hair, our scalp does not need conditioner technically. Our conditioning needs. I mean, your conditioning or anyone's conditioning for that matter <laughs> needs to be from the mid shaft down to the end because this is the part that gets a lot of heat, sun, blow drying, damage, that kind of stuff. So that's where you need to concentrate it. How often should someone shampoo their hair? Well, it depends on what, you know, if teenagers, let's take teenagers for example. Teenagers have to wash their hair every day because their body is changing. There's a lot of hormones going on. They need to get yeah. the natural oils out of it. And they'll keep the zits out. Yes, yeah. exactly. And that's one thing I want to stress for teens. Um, women that color or double process, which means highlighting and, you know, coloring, they don't need to wash their hair as often because that could be drying to the hair, especially because it's color treated, or even if they color and perm their hair. Um, maybe once every other day, sometimes a third day. We also sell a dry shampoo these days to get the natural oil. I don't know about the dry shampoos. <laughs> Those kind of freak me out a little bit. Well, they actually work really well. You spray them in, and then you brush it out, and it actually removes the, the oils from the hair. Where does it go? But like I said, it just depends on, it goes away. <laughs> it goes away. Gone from your scalp. It goes scalp. into the air. And it yeah. also adds, the one Joico makes, um, it actually adds a little texture, which gives you volume at the top. Because, you know, that's the other thing is the, the natural oil kind of makes it droop a little bit. So Twice a week. That's all I've ever done is when, yeah. I, when I shampoo. Twice a week. Wednesdays and Sundays, if anyone's curious. Wow. <laughs> uh, we have any giveaways? We do. We have this uh, flip turn uh, hairspray. It's a 10 plus hold. And if you know anything about me, you know that I love hairspray probably a little bit too much. <laughs> but that one is a really great one. Um, it, it, you can layer it. So you can start out with holding it out a little further mm -hmm. and then mist it. And then work it in. Yes, and then work it in. And then, of course, the more you put, the firmer it gets. Awesome. And the cool thing about that one is you can flip it upside down for more volume. Whoa! <laughs> the flip can. Who doesn't need that in their life? <laughs> now, where's Hair Abduction? How do people get there? Hair Abduction is on Clovis Avenue. It's across from the Comfort and Suites Hotel between 2nd and Sierra Street. And we're actually on the second floor. 
Mm-hmm. Awesome. Should they call you for appointments? Yes. Um, appointments is best. We, we sometimes can take walk-ins, but it's better to, you really want to make an appointment because that way you can get your undivided attention, which is, you know, we really try to focus on giving people um, full attention. That's one thing that I, I really make sure when I book my appointments, I don't double book a lot, and I try to focus on my client and what their needs are. But the phone number is 297-0095. Now. Are there any Valentine's specials? Yes, I was talking about the the blowout treatments, mm-hmm. um, and then we also are doing a treat on on actual Valentine's Day. But that special that I'm talking about is throughout the whole month of Valentine's because these days people don't just go out on Valentine's Day. I'm, I'm noticing that a lot with my my friends and my clients. They're going out the weekend before, the weekend after, the Friday or the Sunday. So that's why I wanted if to. You make got sure. a Valentine? You should be taking her out all the time. <laughs> all right, we have Christine from Hair Abduction. Thank Thank you very much. It's always so good to see you. Uh, We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll start the second hour of The Buzz. Stick around. All right. This segment is brought to you by the Hair Abduction in downtown Clovis on Clovis Avenue between 1st and 2nd Streets. Hair Abduction, your beauty, nail, and hair salon.